So you got two and a half cups of rice, five cups of fluid. In this case, I put three cups of water in my rice, and this is two cups chicken broth. I added one can of chicken broth, bringing up to five, five cups of fluid. Half rice, two and two. So one cup of rice, two cups of water. Two cups of rice, four cups of water. Two and a half cups of rice, five cups of water. I'll use this in place of water, one can, to round out the five cups of fluid, just to give my rice a little flavor because this is a shrimp etouffee. I threw a stick of butter over in this pot right here, cut up one large onion. See the white onion? I cut up a little yellow and green bell pepper. The color makes no difference. So you have garlic, onions, bell pepper, and I put a couple of sticks of celery. You can saute that in butter and put anything in it, it'd be good. This will simmer. I'm not in a hurry this morning. I'm not trying to do this that quick. This is a little shrimp etouffee type dish. I've got uh, a few shrimp. I just happen to have that many. Got a truck coming in this part of the country, Louisiana. So you can get your fresh shrimp. I'll dump these over in the etouffee, a little salt and black pepper on them. But that's done right there toward the end. When these veggies get soft and sauteed, throw your shrimp in. You mix a little flour. When that starts to get done and the, and the veggies start to get soft, 20 minutes. I've just got it simmering there. You'll have your rice ready. I'll add a big tablespoon of cream and mushroom soup. I'll put about a tablespoon full of flour. I'll sprinkle that in there when that starts to cook down in that butter and these veggies. That's to thicken it a little. <clears throat> So a little flour over in your butter and your veggies. Sprinkle that in there, stir it up. You'll see it kind of get thick. I'll put a little bit of cream of mushroom soup, maybe a little spoon of cream of celery soup. Not big, tablespoon, a little more. Just to kind of give it a little flavor. We'll put our shrimp in. We'll check the consistency. You can add a little bit of chicken broth Add a little more till you get it the right consistency. I never did. Uh, the chicken broth's got a little salt in it, so you don't want to go whole hog wild with salt. I'll put a little bit. This chicken broth is salty. Got a little salt in it, so you don't need much salt in your rice. I'm keeping my eye on it. I've told you all this before, until that foam goes back down. When that foam, your moisture starts going back down to the rice. Put a lid on it. A little spire, simmer for about eight minutes. Then turn your fire all the way off. Don't raise the lid. Leave the lid on it. Once I put this lid on, I never take that back off of it. Once this goes in, when that foam gets down there toward the rice, I'll slide the lid on it, turn it on real low eight or ten minutes, then turn it out. Don't look at it, let it steam. It'll be fluffy every time. One bit of good news, once you come to a knowledge of God and you believe the truth, Jesus came here in flesh, died on a cross for your sins, was buried and raised from the dead. Your sin problem is taken care of and so is your physical death problem. You get life and immortality if you just put your faith in it. Go to the creek, let somebody baptize you. You're added to the kingdom of God, which resides inside this earthly kingdom. You get out alive, whether this one collapse or not. Hopefully it won't collapse. 
I wish everybody the best. But there's a day coming, a day of reckoning. We're going to thicken. We're going to thicken a little bit. We can add a little, just a little seasoning. Takes care of that. See how much thicker that looks now? See it gets about like that. That's still a little thick. That's that flour in there. I'm adding a little chicken broth, thin it up a little bit. I would say that's getting closer. See right there? When it starts going back, you don't want it too stiff. We'll let that simmer. There's your shrimp. So we'll work the shrimp in there about like that. So there you've got a meal. We'll let that simmer just a little bit to cook the shrimp. I'd say about 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. And this is the final leg of the journey. Look at that. Shrimp etouffee. And you're trying to tell me that life ain't good? What are you smoking, dude? Etouffee.